farm with my wife and extended family in northeast Victoria, uh, in a place called Lilliput, which is just uh, close to Rutherglen. Uh, we currently farm 2,500 hectares, a mixed farming operation, around about 80% cropping and 20% uh, uh, livestock, which is a um, fat lamb uh, crossbred ewe opera uh, livestock operation. Uh, our annual rainfall is around about 600 mils uh, a year with around 400 during the, the growing season. Um, our soil types are generally a, a duplex loam over clay and um, we're reasonably flat uh, in this part of the world so drainage is uh, important. Back to sort of you know really bad drought years 200 mils annually uh, last year we were 300 the year before that was 250 um, you know we can we've had up to you know 900 mils of annual rainfall um, although I think we've you know the last probably 20 years I'd say we're in a drier period um, but yeah 2016 I, I think we were up around that 850 something like that pretty wet first lesson was that we needed not to be driven by emotion and we needed to be driven by facts um, because there was a lot of discovery back you know 20 years ago uh, guidance was emerging as a uh, you know something that was going to be a, a real uh, added advantage to growers especially in the cropping uh, um, area um, we were doing uh, some drainage. We we ended up being able to um, incorporate uh, some guidance in that um, in that survey work, and, uh, and 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 so we started using guidance in around about two thousand and four, two thousand and five. Um, so that was a great. That was a really good thing, and we probably lost our um, we lost our way maybe for a short time because we could see the the huge benefits in guidance, um, just resourcefulness, um, you know, that that overlap factor both for all of your in crop um, uh, requirements, um, trafficability was also you know a, a real asset, especially in wetter years. Um, but we, we lost our way a little bit with um, what we'd set out to do with drainage and probably needed to probably do a, concentrate a bit more on the drainage and, and wait a bit. We need to do a bit more economic analysis might, would be probably what I'd say. I think we, we try and look at things from the start and uh, or, or look at the problem that we have or what we perceive and um, really that's knowing your country. Um, I think, you know, precision agriculture and farming in general, it's all about, it's all about your land and understanding the issues and the constraints, um, you know, whether it's water logging, whether it's acidity, whether it's sodicity, um, you know, whether it's, um, um, just nutrient supply. Um, so that would be my first bit of advice. Um, we now do a lot of soil sampling and we continue to do that because we want to evaluate and look at where we're going with, with the issues that we have. And uh, so that makes up a really important part now. So that, that'd be the first bit of advice that I would give anybody getting into PA would be look at your actual problem, um, and then look at where PA might be able, you might be able to marry that in with, you know, machinery purchase or whatever, um, to get a win-win situation. Uh, no, I think you need to use all of your team. Um, and I, I mentioned it before, and it, it's a big thing in agriculture, but emotion does play a big role. And we need to get away from emotion 
in some ways um, because the biggest, shiniest piece of equipment may not do the right job. Um, and I think that that's where, you know, using consultants, um, and, and it's a combination of, uh, of agronomy, it's a, it's a, it's a combination of, of really, it's a financial um, decision, and, and it's, it's probably using those, those advisors that really combine those two elements, because, um, you know, incorporating PA is not a cheap exercise. So in any way, shape or form that you can implement precision, precision agriculture with any machinery purchase, understanding what your goal is, um, you know, takes, you know, it takes quite, quite a bit of behind the scenes work. And we probably made some decisions. I wouldn't say that they were massive errors, um, but we probably spent money where we didn't need to um, early in the piece. And we could have used that money in other places. But um, other than that, I, I think it's, it's, it's just, you know, very healthy and wise to do good evaluation and get good expertise.